Ferguson who turns and shapes for goal and Ferguson! Evan Ferguson, 18 years old and the world at his feet. What a player. My name is Carl Lamb. I'm the head of Small City Games in St. Kevin's Football Club. I coached Evan Ferguson for the best part of eight and a half years, eight years. He was the first player when I came into Kevin's that I ever coached. Evan was the first player out on the pitch. He was kicking the ball with one of the other lads and left foot, right foot. He stood out like a, like a sore thumb, how good he was. And I just thought, well, he's good. He's one to keep an eye on. He just seemed to have something about him, I don't know, presence, or he seemed to take his football more serious even at that age than, than other kids did. Now, he one of the lads and he enjoyed it, but he, he, was, he was there to improve. He was always in every training session to try and improve. A pair of boots and a football, that, that used to deal with me, but I think, <laughs> yeah, growing up, like all my mates on the street, we just used to, that's all we used to do, you know what I mean? So it's all like, never used to go up doing nothing else, it was always like, right, who's going in there? Who, who wants to be the goalkeeper for today, you know what I mean? Because no one wanted to go in, but I think that's it really, just football growing up as a kid. He was never one for using his physicality, like he was always relied on his football ability, his intelligence. He's excellent on the ball and, and at a young age we, we played him in every position. So he's on the wing, he's great at dribbling away people, midfield, passing. We played him in defence for a, for a good bit as well, he was great defending. Evan had that kind of really good decision making from an early age. He was bigger than other boys. We had one or two other big boys in the team, but obviously Evan, Evan stands out. He yeah, was in there since the age of about four and Worked with some of the coaches all the way through. Carl Lamb, like I've had him for like ten years nearly in in the Kevin setup. So it was uh, you're growing up with your coaches and you're growing up with your your teammates. Like 2017 Academy Cup. So this was Evans' team. Barca had a brilliant team. So Gavi currently playing for Barcelona in Spain. Obviously, he's an exceptional player. We got to the final. Again, Evan Evan scored. They beat us on penalties, unfortunately, but typical Evan. Two goals in the final. There's a competition held down in Limerick called the Candy Cup. So I'm from Carlo, so we played against his team, Dublin. Uh, we were beating 4 0 on the day, but Evan scored twice. He scored two goals past us. So I think from a young age, we've I've kind of known about the guy and known that he's a fairly talented uh, prospect in Ireland. We played in the All Ireland. We prepared for months, weeks because the, the club we were playing against is Cherry Orchard, who are a brilliant club. I grabbed him and Jamie Mullins. Jamie was struggling with a knee injury and I said, Jamie, you were playing up front tonight. Evan, you were playing in midfield, right, out just go. Typical Evan, he said nothing to me at the time, like, uh, and we went out, we won 4 0, and he was brilliant in midfield. Uh, and he scored a great goal at the end to make a 4 0 free kick. He never said anything, and then about six months ago, out of the blue, he brought this game up. What were you thinking? What was the story with that? You know, 15 minutes before we went out to play, thanks for the notice. And I said, yeah, but we won, didn't we? Like, Evan um, still slags me about it to this day. My name is Derek Pender. Um, I work for Bohemians. Um, I've been here for 12 years, played for eight, captain for five, and that's how I came. Firstly, across Evan. I obviously I played with his dad when uh, his dad used to play in the league, and then obviously go on in the league, and everybody would talk about Barry Ferguson's son, my kid, uh, playing at Kevin's. The first time I seen him and playing really with us was uh, in the Chelsea game, the friendly, and he came into the dressing room and. Everybody was talking about his age, being 14, but he didn't look like he was 14, to be fair. Um, so he was a big, a big lad. Yeah, you could always tell he was a little bit above and going to be a very good player. So even at that level, at that age, he looked very comfortable. And there was a lot of stuff over here at the time, should a 14-year-old should a and a 15-year-old as he was soon after be playing. But from a footballing point of view, he was well able for it. Like. There was a lot of talk on the time and Twitter and stuff, you know what I mean, that you've seen. And, uh, I think it was a bit negative at the time, but I think when people look back on it now, they're sort of biting their tongue a little bit. It was a taste for it. It definitely was a taste for it, even like what it actually is like as in a man's game, you know what I mean? 
to be fair to his family, his family have, have really always looked after him well and always knew what, what was best for him. The hardest part of managing Evan, I found at that time, taking him off the training pitch. He was always looking for that little bit more, he was always eager and uh, was trying to hold him back and trying to feed what you could give him. I could see then that he was ready. In my mind, where I saw Evan was playing in the Premier League and I, I always said that to him from a very young age like that, you'll play in the Premier League if you keep on the path you're on. When you, you spoke to the other coaches and you heard that we were signing Evan, you heard the potential behind what he could offer because you knew other big clubs were after him. And then when he chose us, you think, oh, the lad must, be, must have something to be turning big clubs down. And then the moment, obviously, you set eyes on him and you see him train and you see him play, you knew something was, uh, was special. They call for Ferguson again. Can he make it four? Yes, he can. Off the post and in. There's Ferguson. He looks the danger man. He looks the danger goal. man. Oh my goal. goodness me. What a terrific goal that is from Evan Ferguson. I think it was just the feel when you come over that the club gave you. It was like, like there's a wall in, in the canteen the other side and it's showing all the players that have came through the academy and have played in the first team. So it's, they're not just lying to you and trying to get you in say that they're, oh, there's, there's a pathway here, you know what I mean? Like you can actually, you can see it and you can see that, that there's a way. Huge moment for the 17-year-old, a Premier League debut. I had a good chat with Ev, the World Cup break, and I sat down with Ev to say, look, look, this is a real good opportunity for you to really impress the manager. I said, he likes you anyway. So I said, go and absolutely grab this opportunity and show him exactly what you can do, because I think there's, there's more, to, more to show him. And if you do that, then, you know, other coaches go, Evan's trained well, Gaffer. And you say that every day and then he gets closer and then the rest is, is down to him. Thought a couple of times about the ball over the top there. Dunk uses it. Might drop for Ferguson. It does drop for Ferguson and Ferguson scores! His first ever Premier League goal. I was unreal because I watched his run. To see him still doing it at that level and actually getting rewards for it. And obviously he goes in and he shows his strength against him and he's, he's killed when he gets him to finish. You're the first 18 year old now to score in the Premier League for Brighton. How does that sound? Yes, it's not it's not a bad thing, you know what I mean? So hopefully just keep going, look forward to the game on the tour now and hopefully try to get another. Ferguson must score, does score. Albion have a new goal scoring hero, Evan Ferguson. He's a special finisher, he's a natural finisher and he can finish in all, all sorts of different ways. Here's Ferguson, classic Evan Ferguson. The first time I've ever seen him lose his head was for Brighton against Everton when he got the yellow card for fouling one of the Everton players in the halfway line and there was a bit of a scuffle and I think Matal was down injured maybe and I actually gave him a bit of abuse over that because I, I didn't think he had that in him. I like him in terms of play but for example the yellow card was important to understand the, the level of his mentality. Well, only 18 but quite happy to stick up for himself. It's just something that happens to when you get over that white line compared to other lads that if it's nervousness, if it's letting the occasion get to them or not, not playing to the best because of the occasion, whereas you just don't see that with, with Evan. He adapts so quick to, to the level he's at and I, I'm not surprised at how quick he's gone, gone and got his debut on club level and international. <laughs> Come on, Ireland! Come on, Ireland! Ferguson! On the pool! On the pool! On the pool! Evan Ferguson is the future of Ireland's football. Don't put too much pressure on him to go for. Oh, I'd say he's scoring at least once today, if not twice. Absolute baller. Absolute baller, I'd say. You're standing there for the national anthem and like all the crowd, I just go mad and it's a it's a surreal feeling because you see it on the telly and you've been grown up and you've been the one in the crowd and then when they're the ones that are actually cheering for you, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a special feeling. It was unbelievable, it was a great feeling for everybody associated with him to start seeing him score. Hands up in the penalty area, waking a delivery here, Doherty hangs it up towards the back, touch back by Evan Femi and touched in by Evan Ferguson!
people around me because it tears my eyes. Obviously, I was very emotional, like, and people around me looking, going, it's not fitting a friendly, like. Go for your country, there's, there's no other feeling. It's, it just happened there, and it goes so quick, you know what I mean? There's no other feeling like it. Ferguson collects and lines one up and it's gone in! Hat trick for Ferguson! Absolute star boy, Evan Ferguson! He is a special one, right? If you can score three goals against United, you are you have some qualities, right? Ferguson's improvement has been incredible, no? Uh, he's playing like an old player, but he's 18. For his age, I knew uh, I was his age, it was Still struggling in the youth, and he's scoring hat tricks in the Premier League. So, some difference. Well done today. Thank you. Very Enjoy the match, Paul. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Gross gallops goalwards. Gross. Ferguson curls it. He was never going to miss. I haven't seen anyone or worked with anyone at his age as good as he is. You can't predict the future because football's football. Are, but what what you can predict is the lad has every chance to have a a top career because of his, his application, his attitude and, and, and the hunger that he has to, to, to be as good as he can be. To Kevin, he means everything because he's here since he's five. We've, we've an ethos in the club that we produce good people as well as good players. Who better to represent St. Kevin's than Evan in terms of standards, his attitude, his personality, how he treats people. What he means now is the, the current under eights, the current under nines, the current tens have something tangible to look up to because we say that's the same pitch he played on, same dressing rooms he sat in, nothing has changed from when Evan was here. We love him, he means the world to us. He's worked exceptionally hard, he's worked exceptionally hard for this. His attitude, his work rate, his desire to get better, his desire to not get carried away with anything, all that has, has brought him through. I'm over in England two years now, so all the time leading up to that, it was all them trying to help me and trying to get me prepared for going over, so yeah, it's big thanks to them. He's so grounded, I don't think anything phases him. The more and more he goes and the more games he plays, he'll just get confident, more and more confident and more and more used to obviously the level that he's playing with. And I don't see him ever going and getting ahead of himself. The stupid yard, it's to Ferguson! It's in! This team do not know when they're beaten. Big F, Evan Drago. That's the new one. Ferguson's in, Evan Ferguson to finish it, and he buries the chance. First time Ferguson can have a go, and Evan Ferguson smashes it beyond the McCarthy to settle Albion nerves. What a ball to Ferguson in for two! Glorious! That was brilliant to see, you know, we're all we're all watching and now it's something to watch every week that he's playing for Brighton in the Premier League, which is, is, is unbelievable.